If you're like me, you've had a hard time finding a Bluetooth mouse. I actually just picked up the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 because um, it was on such a good deal. I was looking at getting a newer one and I'm going to talk about this here in a minute. But I've been trying to find a Bluetooth mouse that'll work good for this and still allow me to do a little bit of gaming. And so I've been kind of on the search for a few different mice and I came across this one. I've watched a whole bunch of review videos. I don't think they all explained it very well from a real person's perspective. So let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing and let's talk about why this one is the one I went with. So uh, I did just open it because I was actually really excited. Uh, as you can see, it's packaged really nice. The mouse is just literally just resting right in here. You take it out. It does have uh, a good feel to it to me. And there's been a lot of complaints about weight. <clears throat> and I don't know, maybe I'm... I'm not into the gaming scene enough and so I don't really know all the different weights of mice but it doesn't bother me one bit as I haven't really upgraded my mouse in quite a while. I think the last mouse I had is a Razer Mamba and it's a wired mouse and the thing I hate about it is the cord goes off my desk and it just always pulls the mouse a little bit forward and I always have to like kind of yank that cord back and so with my my new Surface, I wanted a wireless one, but I didn't want to eat up one of the ports, so I wanted it to be able to be Bluetooth. And it does come with a charging cable, and this is that new ultralight cable, and uh, I did buy beforehand uh, the Razer Ballast Ultimate because on Best Buy's website, it said this is also the Bluetooth mouse, and of course this one's cheaper than this one. I bought this one, tried to get it all hooked up, it doesn't work unless you use the dongle, and we're gonna talk about this mouse in a separate review, so stay tuned for that. So I had to go up a little bit more and get this one. Now part of the reason I like um, Razer products is I do think the chroma lighting is super cool, and I wasn't super worried about the, the pulling rate, and I wasn't super worried about the battery life because I plan on using it in the Bluetooth mode, not in the special 1000 hertz pulling rate and all the other stuff. I like the fact you can set your lighting colors. That's something I, I enjoy doing for all of my gear. I have it doing the wave pattern on the bottom right now. I just did that like five minutes ago. And then I set my wheel to blue and I got my Razer logo to green because green is one of my favorite colors. And so the feel, the comfort, and the grip is very nice. I think it's going to be a, re a really good mouse for that reason. And some of the other features I haven't really decided how I'm going to work into it, like the, the click to the left and right on the wheel. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. The scrolling, of course, is going to be something I'm going to be using a lot. And then hitting this button right here to free scroll, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't have any problems with it. It's not something that's going to really bug me. I like the fact that I can do it from the button and not have to worry about it. I don't know if I'm going to enable that that uh, smart sync, smart wheel roll thing. I haven't decided on that yet. You also have a couple little buttons on the side here. You have this one, this one, and this one. This is your like auxiliary button, so you can assign different pieces to all the buttons. So that's going to be something, again, I'm not really sure how I'm going to apply it, because mainly I'm going to use the main two and probably one of these thumb buttons for a lot of my stuff normal computing and then maybe a little bit of gaming and most of my gaming is more retro gaming i like i have a lot of the older games like unreal tournament 2004 i have some of the older like world not world of warcraft uh like warcraft 3 frozen throne warcraft 3 you know reign of chaos all that kind of stuff so i don't plan on playing a whole lot of top tier games and i know this is uh not a gaming laptop it's just going to be my little portable but this is the i7 with the 16 gigs of ram so i know it can handle some light gaming and then also i'm a fan of uh command and conquer tiberian wars and maybe a little bit of starcraft uh starcraft 2 so some gaming yes but not a whole lot of gaming i wanted to have that ability i also i'm, I'm a razor fan i have the razor chair i have uh other razor products on my on my main desktop weight wise i don't I don't notice it like maybe I'm just not in the know enough to say hey this is a really heavy mouse compared to other mice I don't have that G50 uh, that Logitech G805 or whatever it is or 508 so for me it's not a problem I don't know if I'm going to get the wireless charging feature because again I plan on using it via Bluetooth and from my understanding is when I charge it via the cable it's going to last about 100 hours on Bluetooth even with the lighting on I've ran it for about an hour and I have it moved off at 80%. So like, I'm thinking I'm gonna be okay with that. If you kind of want a, just a cooler mouse, maybe you're not super into like competitive gaming and you'd like to have a little bit of additional functionality and just kind of like, like your computer to look cool, I think it's a cool deal. It is expensive, you know, 
you hear clicking and even on your computer when you're doing stuff. So I don't think it's going to matter. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a cool purchase. Maybe I'll give you guys a breakdown once I've had it for a little while. I know you can switch profiles. Something you can do on this. It does have right here Bluetooth off or the 2.4 gigahertz. If you use the little dongle, the dongle is in the box. I'll probably put it just in the bottom of the mouse just for the sake of keeping it. But I don't have any desire to use this other than at some point maybe to just, you know, have it as a gaming mouse for some other purpose. I'm not super worried about the weight. Uh, one of the reviewers, I'll try to link his video. He was like, yeah, for our, our frail little, you know, programmer arms. But I like Razer stuff. I already have Razer Synapse, so it is a thing. I have the keyboards, and so it doesn't bother me. And I like having all my stuff in the same ecosystem. So then I don't have to download, you know, Corsair software and then Logitech software and then Razer software and then whatever. Like Razer software, I have a couple, I have one of their webcams. I have their Huntsman keyboard. I have, like I said, I had the old Mamba. So I already have their stuff. It's kind of nice. Plus, I like the fact that I have all my color schemes and stuff like that. I, I theme them for the seasons. So like Christmas time, I make it green and red. You know, Halloween season, I make it kind of orange, that fire orange. Well, there you guys have it. I'm going to do a quick little you know, close-up shots so you guys can see this in its close-up form. But if if you're into gaming or you're into, you know, you want to have a, kind of a custom thing, I would check it out. I think uh, I think it's worth checking out. So far, so good. I'm liking it. Uh, I'll do a follow-up if I find any problems. Cool. What you guys want to do, hit that like button if you like the video. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. It really helps out YouTube algorithm. And then last but not least, hit that bell icon so you know when other videos are coming out here at Tech Ninja with J.D. Olson. We'll see you guys later.